Hello everybody. My first video in a while. I'm going to try to be doing these regularly. Well, it's jarring here. Uh, we're going to do something... Well, I'm going to try to do a bunch of Warcraft map gameplay videos coming up here. Well, we're going to do one hosted by Ent Gaming, so I'm going to go to Ent Gaming really quick. Uh, I don't know if, how many of you heard of this. Probably a lot of you have if you play Warcraft, but it's a Warcraft map called Wintermall. Wintermall 1, to be specific. Now, a little bit of history on Wintermall 1. Uh, originate from a map called Wintermall, which evolved into Wintermall Hybrid. And Wintermall is a tower defense game, which tower defense games, of course, you build towers, try to stop enemies from getting to the end, you know. It's, in any ways, uh, Wintermall 1, um, probably have to say, what's well, different about Wintermall 1 from the other Wintermalls, like, from Wintermall Hybrid and just Wintermall, is that Wintermall 1, everyone has their own spot. Like, like everyone loses and wins individually. So, like, in Wintermall Hybrid and Wintermall, and in Wintermall Original, you'd pretty much, like, all of you were as a team trying to stop this multiple spawns together from getting to the end. And if the lives are gone, everybody lost. With Wintermall 1, everybody has their own lives and it's all individual. The only thing that's team is if you leak, your leak goes to the next player. So like it goes. So like if I were to leak, all my spawn leaks would go to the next player. Well, let's just play it. Enough talking about it. Sheesh. People hate talking. So, all right. Gonna log into Battle.net here. Now this is. Remember, this game's hosted by Ant Gaming. Now you might be like, well, why are you promoting Ant Gaming? Well, because the thing I really like about Ant Gaming is they let anybody host for free any map they want as long as it's uploaded onto their thing. And if it's not uploaded onto their website, you can upload it yourself. So pretty much it's just making Warcraft accessible to everyone. And it, and why you think, oh, well, you can just open the ports you host yourself. Well, some places, like at a college campus, which is where I'm at, they don't let you do that, so... That's the importance of that. Anyways, well, I'm going to be playing. And, oh, yeah, this is the revamped version of Wintermall 1, which is the better, better version. Well, I'm, I guess people knew. You'd almost think people would. You almost think that people knew that I was doing this today or something because usually Wintermall 1, you're lucky to get like three or four people in the game. This time it's almost a full house. I feel pretty lucky. I'd just say that Wintermall 1 is probably the best TD that's still active on Warcraft today. Because, you know, Warcraft 3 has been kind of going downhill as far as popularity goes. But I'd say, of all the choices, which there really aren't many, in fact, I think Wintermall 1 might be the only regularly hosted choice for a tower defense. And now we just gotta wait for everybody to get done loading the map, because the bot is kind of strange. Usually, Usually in Warcraft, people can only enter the game state once and after everybody's loaded, but with a bot, people enter the game state as they're done being loaded. So you have, it shows as they're lagging, but really they just haven't loaded yet. Alright. I'm going to do the beetle race. I mean, because this person did all ran random and they had gave us two choices, but I'm going to do beetles. Because in my opinion, beetle well, beetles are a fun race. They're kind of a melee race. Explain what's going on a little bit here. You know, you get a random race every game, okay? And uh, this ra time I got two random races, because that's the choices you picked. Cl Mergle, Mergle, and Beetles. Honestly, I massively prefer the Beetles, because, well, okay, e each race of strategy is a little different. I honestly like the melee strategy. Melee meaning clo close range, like swords or in this case, beetle claws. Some most races do at least have one melee tower, but the beetle race is based on melee. So let's see here. I'm building my beetle maze. As you can tell, this is a game where you got to build mazes. Look, see if you look at what everyone else is doing. Everybody's pretty much building like a maze, and a maze is something that the the monsters are going to go through, and that's how you try to stop them. And I'm just nothing really that interesting here. I'm just spamming the level one tower, you know, it's nothing special. Whatever, but this is, you gotta get started. 
Uh, let's see, what's a difficulty? Or S. Hard. There's going to be a lot of people losing. I might need, I'm probably even going to lose too. Hard kills off a lot of people. Honestly, easy is too, normal is too easy. Easy is way too easy. And hard is actually pretty hard. I wish I had a mode between normal and hard. Like maybe just intermediate or something. Because honestly, normal gets way too easy. But hard is off, often just too hard. Like if you don't have a very good race. Especially if you have like just one of the, in my opinion, terrible races. Like orc or null. Just terrible races. Taking a look at what everyone else is doing here. Wind Summoner. Looks like most most of us did pretty well. Only two people leaked. But leaking is normal. There's always somebody who like gets a shitty race or just doesn't know what they're doing that's gonna leak. Show you my my big strategy with beetles is at some point I get these things called the mammoth beetles. These are really the best of the beetle race, in my opinion, because they're the only, like Lake says, it's the Arnold Schwarzenegger of beetles. Melee has a high attack damage average. What's really good about beetles is they, they don't really attack overly fast, but they just have such a high damage. If you build a couple of beetles, or mere mammoth beetles, like one after the other, they'll pretty much take out the whole spawn every time, until, at least until later rounds. So I, I'd say building like four or five of these is essential in beetle race and also you have to set them up the right way you don't want to do you know I've been just doing a straight diagonal line with these beetles you don't want to do that with the mammoth beetle you want to maximize the area that the melee tower can actually attack the enemy so you have to build almost like a loop around like a little ring around it I'll show you what I mean semi-circle ring whatever Let's see what everyone else is doing oh yeah it's something else in this game I forgot to show you you can this is kinda arbitrary you can change like the color of your people see they just went from yellow to black it's just kind of stupid. Like, two people are red because normally in Warcraft everyone's a different color player, but in this map, particular map, you can change your color and shit. So it's kind of a nice little feature. Alright. Now, let's see. Where do I want to. How do I want to do this? Now you might think, well, why am I building it there? They're just going to run right by. Well, you haven't let me get finished yet, if that's what you're thinking. And if it's not what you're thinking, I'm sorry for accusing you of thinking such a stupid thing. Not that it's stupid if you've never seen this game before. It's just stupid if you have played this game before. Oops, shit. Don't want to build that there. That was a mistake, by the way. That beetle did not need to go there. Okay. Build. Build. Alright. There. Now, explaining this a little bit. See this? This what this does. This maximizes the area that this beetle is able to attack the enemies, like maximizing the duration. Since it's a melee tower, you want to do that, especially for the stronger ones, because it it, it gives it instead of having to like just like you look at this tower. This tower can only attack enemies like right there. This tower can only attack enemies like right there. This tower can attack enemies like all around it. So if you have a really powerful melee tower, this is a way to maximize how it can damage. So okay. We're in like level four now. Things aren't getting too tough yet. Honestly, I could probably still pull this off with the level one beetle towers. Damn, purple's just getting fucked. So many trolls in this game sometimes who are just making shit up. Honestly, I don't even know. I don't think I've had that. Oh, the tank race? Yeah, that's that's not a bad race, but it fails at some point. It's like there's a lot of races in this game that I think they made it um, made purposely terrible, but tank isn't one of them. Tank is one of the ones that I think they try to make pretty good, but they just fail at making it good because at some point it really does just fail overall. I mean early on sure it's it's pretty awesome oh air shit I did not prepare for air oh shit there's only one thing I can do now ah, fuck I fucked that up guys I'm terribly sorry I forgot I don't know how I forgot this game is air well oh well <sighs> 
I had like 50 lives, so I'm only I'm still have 36 lives at least. I'm not screwed yet. It's just that was very stupid of me. So to get for Now people are bitching about how green's playing. Even though everyone has a different strategy, but no. People don't see that. People see this. Like any other game, the community gets very nasty in how you play, and everyone thinks there's only one way to play when there's really a lot of ways to win and play. Not saying, I don't know, maybe what Green really is doing really is just retarded. I don't know. I'm not paying that much attention. I'm paying too much attention with the commentary, honestly. All right, let's get this thing right here. I will be showing you guys some of the other towers, but for now, I'm just sticking with the Mammoth Beetle because really it's kind of the key, especially early on for this race, to success. Actually, later on too, actually, really, this is just an awesome-ass tower overall for this race. I don't remember. I think the preg... The only, the only bad... The tower, I honestly... Just pretty much the only towers I get in this race are Mama Beetle and Ven or not Venom, Venom is stupid, and Mammoth Beetle. They're really the good ones. Seems like every race has like one or two towers that's really good. Sometimes you'll get a race that's balanced and all the towers work together. But most of the time you just get a race with one or two good towers, because I hate to say it. One of the things I don't like about this map is they really did focus on quantity over quality. That's quantity as in a lot of them over quality as in good number of races because honestly you play winter mall hybrid the races are a lot more balanced and unique than this in winter mall one all the races are pretty much the same basic idea I mean there's a few variances like you know you have your melee only races or you have your upgrade races which is where you have upgrades from your basic tower and that's how you get more powerful but for the most part they're all the same like, I'd say at least for every ten races in this game, probably about seven are the same basic idea. Probably two are melee races, and probably one is a unique race. If there were only, that's if there were only ten races in the game. There's a lot more than ten, but I'm not sure really how many races there are. I don't know. Well... I'm just getting this shit. Th and see, next time air comes, I will not fucking fail. Look at that. See, see, see? See these two fuckers right here? I'm not gonna lose next round. No, no, no. No, no, no. See, see, the next air round, which is 14, I will not fail. These two fuckers right here, because air always goes straight down the middle. These math beetles will fuck it up, I promise you. They will fuck it in the fucking ass, or something like that. I don't know. Honestly, I'm not really one for joking most of the time. I'll joke a little bit here and there, but... Eh. Uh-oh. Whoa. Well, I, those zombies did not stand a fucking chance. Like I said, mammoth beetles all the way. I really still am embarrassed about leaking on that level 5. Damn, purple, what's going on? <laughs> I call him Perpy. Hey, Perpy, like herpes? <laughs> you mean like herpes? <laughs> Perpy the herpy. I don't know. Harpy. Harpy. That's another thing of Warcraft. Harpies are like these sexy naked flying women that fly around. I'll show you. If I find a good game with harpies, I'll show you guys what harpies are. I promise. To my many, many listeners. Yeah. Cause I get like a five, between one in ten views every video. I'm so popular right now. Yeah. Well, anyways, maybe it's just because I haven't started making videos about the right thing yet. Sometimes I make political videos, but people do not like my politics. I'm very, I don't know, alternative. Sometimes I can't even agree with myself. Fuck. I could be in trouble here, a little bit. Okay, nope, I'm fine. I just needed another mammoth beetle. Yeah, 
Yeah, okay. I'm, as it turns out, the tank guy was just retarded, as people were saying. I should have been on their side the whole time, but I wasn't, because I like to give people a chance. Well, certain people. If people don't deserve another chance or something, I obviously not, but some people do deserve second chances. Probably not. Probably not President Obama, though. I'm sure he did not deserve a second chance. Sorry for my politics coming out here, but... Really, why did we vote for this clown a second time? Not saying Romney would have been better, but at least if we voted for Romney, we could have thrown off the politicians so they wouldn't go full speed ahead with this government health care. I mean, let's just completely collectivize everything. That always works. Now you may be thinking, oh, well, it does. Well, the thing is, people just get so lazy. Not that I'm not lazy, but... That's because I've been living in collectivist America since I was born. Duh. Okay, enough politics. Nope, nope. Enough politics. And I'm not really blaming my lazy all on that. I actually am. A lot of it is my fault. I play too many video games and drink too much root beer and Dr. Pepper and other things. Which I will not disclose at this time. No, I will not. Looks like to me Pink knows what he's doing. Both of the Reds... Well, mostly just the real Red, Player One, which is the only real Red, but the, most of the Reds aren't doing too bad. Honestly, I'm not doing too great, but I'm not doing too bad myself. Most of the reason I, was doing, I started off with the air round, I really failed that air. Oh... <sighs> Also, something else to note is I am playing this in windowed view, which you might be like, well, why is that significant? Because, well, I'm using Hypercam. It's a free video software and it does not record Warcraft correctly on full screen mode. So, but if you do windowed mode, it seems to work just fine. Something about full screen mode just throws Hypercam off with its recordings. Like, like see this? Like how that takes up the whole screen? Well, if you do full screen for some reason I'm recording, it's actually only a fourth of the screen. It's very strange. And that seems to be not just Hypercam's problem. I've tried other free software that had the same problem. The only thing is I ditched those free software because a lot of them did not have voice recording like, this, like Hypercam does. Which I think is pretty vital. At some point I'm going to have to save for my Big Mama Beetle. Because... At some point, you just need the damage. You need just the raw damage. Yeah, somebody le looks like Teal or Rill, the second red, but really Teal leaked again. And now we're waiting forever. This is the thing I hate about this game: is the slow leaks are just drawn on. Yeah, and then the stupid bots are very sp sensitive to spamming, so I got sleep I got s muted for s talking too much at once. Yeah, you know, happens. Hate that shit. Yeah, this is not classically an easy, the easiest round in the game, in my opinion, because by by this point you're more than ready for it because the slow rounds are just get eaten up by high damage melee towers especially when they have splash like mammoth beetles have which splash by the way for people who don't play warcraft splash means it spreads to the other targets when it attacks so like if you were to take like a water balloon and throw it at somebody and the water hits multiple people that's the concept of splash damage splashing to multiple targets from from impact source Level 11. Hard mode starts to even get harder on early on, though. That's the good thing about it. I still wish that there's something between hard and, e and normal, though. Because, honestly, some, there's a lot of races that just completely fail on hard difficulty. They really need something in the middle more. But, eh. Maybe they should make Winter Mall revamped revamped. Since they revamped Winter Mall 1, why not revamp it again and call it revamped revamped? 
there's still a lot of issues with this game. Not that it's a bad game, I love it. But, you know. There we go. Eight. That penguin got eight by that big badass beetle. Oh, it looks like teal or red or really teal, but fake red is leaking to me again. This is something I do not get about Beetle Race. Why the fuck, okay, why the fuck does a barrel make beetles, okay? Because, uh, let me explain something to you. Beetles are created from other beetles, correct? So, what what the fuck? Are they, like, all coming out of a dusty barrel in someone's basement? Is that where the beetles are coming from? I mean, I just don't understand why a barrel is the builder for the Beetle Race. I don't get it. I will. Uh, Murlocs, nah, I will not use Murloc towers, no. Or I would show you guys what they were, but... Oh no, this is the dreaded wolf round. I bet Teal's gonna die this round, like like Red's saying, or the real Red Snow Bear. I, I bet I might even die this round, I don't know. Wolf round sucks. Although, I think my I think I'm gonna be okay, but... Yeah, I think my last beetle there is doing a lot of... Oh, he let one go, but for the most part, he's got this covered. Yeah, he leaked two, but that isn't so bad. Well, now I get to deal with Teal's spawn. He pr he just completely failed that round. Just did not kill shit. Well, I was happy this was, a f this was almost a full house. Now I think we're down to four players. I mean, fuck. Now, there goes... More towers. Oh well. If I lose this game, whatever. I hope not, but... <sighs> it's like I said, they really need a mode in the middle here, because honestly, I think hard is too hard. Normal is too easy. Easy is way too fucking easy. If you play it easy, honestly, just no, you will not have any fun. I mean, I guess if you really have fun, just... Just completely raping everything, not having any challenge at all, then yeah. Nah. He see he's trying to say I'm gonna die this round. I say not. He doesn't realize I'm about ready to get in a mama beetle after I get some money. I guess most melee races do fail at a certain point. Not that I'm a great player, but it's just kind of the cycle of melee. Because, you know, melee only is effective in that short range. Oh, he might be right. I might be fucked. Yeah, fuck. Let's see if I can... Well, I got 400 gold. I might be able to pull something off. Ah, no juggling. Well, yeah, it looks like he was right. I'm fucked. Maybe the dead beetle will do something, I don't know. No, dead beetle is just shitty as hell, too. Yeah, well, this is a melee race for you on, on hard. Well, looks like that's it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do this one or not.